I'll let you a closer look here at a few field holsters. This one here was made for a customer and it's about ready to go out the door. A uh, couple I'll show you here in a minute were made for myself. Different handguns. but uh, Basically these field holsters, they come standard with lining. They have a 7 to 8 ounce outer layer of leather or body and uh, 2 to 3 ounce uh, wedge tan lining. So they're a little thicker, a little more heavy duty than my standard concealment holsters. Uh, normally on my concealment holsters I use 7 to 8 ounce leather. Uh, and if I'm going to line a concealment holster I'll use a little bit thinner 5 to 6 ounce leather with a 2 to 3 ounce lining. So you combined you still end up with about an 8 ounce uh, thickness on your holster. Uh, with this one we use a like I said 7 to 8 ounce with a 2 to 3 ounce lining. So it's just a little thicker, a little more heavy duty. Uh, geared more towards wood to carry. Carrying around the farm, the ranch. Uh, when concealment's not too much of a concern. Uh, hiking, hunting, camping, that, that sort of thing. Uh, has a retention strap for a little extra security, especially for carrying around the woods and things like that. Uh, now there are a few options that we offer at no extra charge with these holsters. And this one here, it has a muzzle. The muzzle ends on shut. That's one of the options. I don't charge extra for that. We can leave it open or do the sewn muzzle. Uh, one's on the website, there's both types shown on there. Uh, we can also cut the leather down around the back sides uh, on the revolvers or we can add what I call a sight guard which is kind of a flap of leather that comes up in front of the back sides to help protect the back sides from brush. Uh, I can make these for semi autos as well. Uh, I've been wanting to make one for one of my commanders for a while, but uh, I've never gotten around to it. But there's a, a few semi-auto photos on the website with these holsters. Uh, this particular one is modeled after one on my website. There's one on my website, very similar, made for a Red Hawk 4 inch uh, that's shown in light brown. And it has the leaf and acorn carving. And this one here is actually the leather's molded around the back sides. The back sides sit down, down inside the holster and the leather's molded around them. And uh, this customer wanted one similar, but he wanted this one done in mahogany. And the one on the website has a snap. This one has what they call a button stud or Sam Brown stud. And this one's a nickel plated Sam Brown stud. And, uh, but uh, that's another option. You can get the Sam Brown stud or you can get a, a snap. Uh, no extra charge either way, just whatever you prefer. So I just thought I'd show a, a closer look at these. Uh, this one has a leaf and acorn carving, like I said, similar to the one on the website. Uh, my wife does all the carving and tooling, or at least most of it, uh, for customers. I'll show you a couple here in a minute that are my personal holsters, and I've done the stamping and carving on those. Uh, but generally I leave that up to her for customer's holsters. Occasionally I may do like a simple border stamp or something, but um, the carving and stuff like that, she usually does it. She does a great job at it. Uh, here's a back shot. You can see the retention strap on this is thread, thread through the, the belt loop. And that puts, uh, there's a couple slots cut in the belt loop. The strap threaded through there. And that really puts that strap in a bind so it's very secure. Similar in the way a lot of western or cowboy type posters you see will have a couple of holes right here and they'll have a piece of lace threaded through in the same way uh, and it forms a hammer thong or a hammer loop. I mean with, this, with the strap un, unsnapped you know after a while it's going to break in some and there'll be some play there uh, with it unsnapped but once it folds over the gun and snaps to the front it's, it's very secure. Also you can see that the straps you can kind of see on the inside of that belt loop you can see that strap so your belt is actually pulling against the inside of that belt loop when you're wearing it pulling it against your body so it's pulling against that retention strap as well show you a shot here Look at my red hawk it's unloaded with it in the holster there and you can see I mean that thing ain't 
this, this strap works very well. Not going anywhere, very secure. And here's a shot. You can see kind of how the back sights on this one's down in the leather. The leather's molded out around it. Here's another one. This one was made for a security six, two and three quarter inch Ruger security six. And uh, I did the stamping on this. This is called a tri weave stamp, a large tri weave. And wasn't too shabby job, but I figured since it's for me, I'd give it a shot. Uh, if you look close, you can actually see the leather on this is kind of textured. And that's basically because I don't know really what caused it to this came that way, but this was kind of a piece of scrap leather and it had a lot of texture on it, so I hadn't used it and uh, just decided I'd make myself something out of it. See my security six there unloaded. This is a piece of granite I got from a fella for stamping, stamping the leather on. But, uh, you can see there how it fits in there. Now this one here, it's, it's got what I call the sight guard or whatever, which is just a, a piece of leather that's kind of wrapped up in front of the back sights. And basically if you just brush and things like that, it's just going to kind of roll off the front of that holster. So that's going to help protect the sights as well. It's a different style. Uh, there's a couple of photos on the website where the leather is actually cut down around the back sights and back sights are exposed and it just depends on what the customer wants. So. This one here is a open muzzle. Uh, the muzzle's not sawn shut on it again. Like I said, that's an option. Uh, I'm do it either way. But uh, here's the back view of that one. Here's one. It was a, this one was made for a little J frame. But I was working on this one for a customer, and then when I was stamping a gun model on the back, I kind of boogered up the stamping. So just remade the customers and kept this one for myself. But uh, this one's all in light brown. Now that in there you can see this is a 442, so it uh, has an internal hammer. And because of that, I just kind of run the strap over the top of the grip frame there. And I put these slots over towards the trigger guard, or that the th strap threads through. And then the snap on the front is kind of over the trigger guard more. And what that does is that strap actually kind of wraps around that top of that grip frame. So it's not going to slide off and go anywhere. It's very secure. Uh, uh, these holsters, was, you know, they said they geared more towards hunting and hiking, that, that sort of thing. Uh, you could, you know, probably, especially some of these shorter ones, you could conceal with them. You throw the loose shirt over them or a light jacket or something. But they're just, they're not going to conceal quite as well as like my GS2 or my country boy or high country. Uh, you know, those type holsters I mentioned, they have a slot or a loop on either side of the handgun, so they're going to pull in much tighter to the body. Now this holster not floppy loose on the belt, but it just, it doesn't have those wings and, and loops or slots, so it's just not going to pull in uh, like one of those type holsters would. So therefore it's just don't, not going to conceal quite as well. But it's probably one of my favorite holsters overall, these, just the field type holsters. They're, they're comfortable, they're uh, not much wider than a handgun. They just, you know, work well, wire well. You know, great for times when you're not worried too much about concealment. Uh, so one more here. This is uh, one I made for a Ruger 2245, 22 pistol. It's uh, one of my first ones. Yeah. I don't have the pistol out here right now, but uh, this one here. Now I did do the carving on this one too. It's a very primitive looking carving, and I wanted it to be kind of old school and primitive looking. Just as a simple. Uh, vine and leaf carving and you can see I made the strap shape kind of like a leaf
But that's about it. I just thought I'd give a little closer look at, at some of these field holsters. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call or email. Uh, thanks for watching.